What we're going to do here, because we're going to assist the frame down through here, is remove the butt blocks that are behind here. This right here is a position of a butt block, and we've removed the screws from the butt block itself and taken the butt block down out of there, and this is the butt block we removed right here. Now, you can see how terribly deteriorated it is here on the end, you know, and on this is the inside, and this was up against the plank in here. But I just wanted to show you this butt block now. In the first place, it's a red oak butt block, and it should have been white oak. Right, but uh, you know, they weren't too worried about this, they were just trying to get the boat built. You know, so and then the other problem with this particular butt block is I hope you can see this in the camera, but it's uh, got annual rings in this direction here, and uh, especially white oak tends to split 90 degrees to the annual rings on what you call the medullary rays, which are these little lines in the opposite direction. So Basically, a, a real good butt block would have been put in with the medullary rays across the butt block in that direction, and the annual rings in this direction would be a quarter sawn butt block. This is what you'd call a slab sawn butt block. So it's pretty much uh, not a good job to begin with. They've deteriorated, we've removed them, and now we're, we're going to um, pop these planks down up here so that I can get at him with some tools and, and cut a scarf in him. And he's going to put his pressure when he bangs it along the edges of the seams and uh, work its way out until I can grab onto it with a hammer and then I can assist him some. Go ahead, Rob. Okay. Like I had said I put Portland cement in the seams and this is your Portland cement right here. And uh, it's never failed or came out. It's even adhered to the ends of the planking because when you put it up, uh, the ends of this particular plank in the cedar is porous, so that cement works its way right into that grain, and it's stuck between those two planks. And believe me, that's the best seam compound in a butt that money can buy right there. Something that hardens up, that can't work its way out. There was the cement. Now here was the cot right under the cement. That was all looped in place. See, see how I can? Yeah, okay. okay. See how I can pull it out like in loops? Watch this. So in other words, that was looped in there. That wasn't just laid in there. There was a technique to that of which I can show later on. Okay, well, I'm going to cut the end of this plank off now. I'll shorten the end of this plank as well as that one. I'm going to use this tool right here. This is actually a little 10,000 RPM grinder with a skill saw blade in it. Now, I call it Mr. Friendly. I don't let anybody touch it because it's awful dangerous. And now I'm going to take a chainsaw and actually cut this to a scarf with a chainsaw. Now this is the first boat I've ever done like this with a chainsaw. I've normally put two wedges along each side of the plank with the plank in position and then do those with, a, with actually a skill saw and I'm operating it like a milling machine kind of. That's a different process and most people would have done it with a router and all kinds of different methodology but I found that this method is much more effective, faster and certainly more cost effective for the owner of the boat. So what I'm going to do is actually hold the chainsaw up there in this manner here and then cut that right off of the chainsaw. we got here now is a Bosch planer and I've rounded the bottom of it like this and the blades are rounded so that when I plane this is like a wet material if I had a straight blade all the way across the plane it would just keep jamming up with stuff in the slurs and I have to keep cleaning it out so I've made like a scrub plane out of this and I'm going to scrub this down a little bit more and then shift over to a different plane piece up and fit it in here. And this goes. So this is obviously a very, very effective way 
to eliminate the butt blocks in this boat and make the planks in effect they're all one piece one end to the other these scarves will never ever in years and years open up or show their faces in any way and I've put them in in a very traditional manner as if they were uh, full length carvel planks with the proper bevels in the proper positions and everything and you can see that I've got an opening to put cotton in and an opening here and an opening here but those don't go in all the way that's only partial depth so it's going to be traditionally caulked to match up with the rest of the boat it'll disappear completely inside now once it's painted and never show up again